Hey guys, good evening and welcome to my exciting channel. We're discussing Mandela Effects and the like. Thanks for joining in tonight. Welcome all Mandela Effectians. Uh, first of all, I want to tell you happy Sunday and, and uh, hope you all had a chance to spend time with your families this evening. And uh, I know that's Memorial Day weekend, so you're probably not, you know, going to be at home. You're probably out and about. But um, I just want to say thank you all for um, your thoughts and prayers and everything uh, after that whole demon incident. I know it seemed like I was laughing at the time. I felt like something come over me. Maybe it was an angel because that's, I wouldn't have been laughing, you know, at the time, but this, this, um, spirit, I felt like something came over me. I had a shiver and I dealt with the spirit at, at the time. Uh, I'm not going to say it was necessarily a demon. It was probably some kind of ghost or something, but it was still evil. Um, and we have to be mindful of that. We have to, cause we're under attack guys. I mean, our Bibles are under attack. You all know that. Um, our, our memories are under attack. You know, you know, um, you know what's happening. You know, you know what's going on here. It, there's definitely some evil, I think, behind this. But um, the Mandela effect is exposing that evil. That's the good part. Um, you see the shirt? I found this the other day. Um, this, um, you see the S and the T are connected, but the R and the S aren't. I figured this, this is possible residue right here, folks. Um, take a picture if you want. Star Wars residue. There you go. Um, special shout out for this Mandela Effect video, by the way. Um, we had this conference this past Friday, and we're going to keep doing these things, uh, these Google Hangouts. But yeah, Ma Mandela Effect uh, conference. I owe you gratitude for this video. Um, talking about the CDC, okay? So what do you guys know about the CDC, the government agency? What does it stand for? Is it A, uh, Communicable Disease Center, B, the Center for Disease Control, or C, Centers for Disease Control? Which one is it? What do you remember? Think about that one. All right, you ready? Guess what? C was correct. In this reality, it's never been the Center for Disease Control. So check it out. I did some research on this, and it's always good to have a couple of sources. Um, when you type in CDC right away, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention pop up, okay? Um, if you look at the, their own website, okay? It says here, um, it was about World War II, when World War II ended, okay? this agency was set out to basically fix malaria, to control malaria around military training bases, okay, after World War II, okay? So Dr. Joseph W. Mountain of the U.S. Public Health Services Bureau of State Services envisioned an agency that could support state and local health units, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so basically, when I do a search for center, okay, it comes up like seven times, but right here, okay, this doesn't really give much of the history, but it says, it does say right here, in the next 60 years, major, minor changes were made to the name, okay? National Communicable Disease Center, the Center for Disease Control, and the Centers for Disease Control, okay? And then it changed to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. But the CDC has been always the same. And I, I remember the Center for Disease Control is what I remember. I mean, what do you guys remember? So, just a brief history, if you go to Wikipedia, you know, um, I know that's not necessarily the best source, but it is the main source for information. Um, so, I, I did find a side source. But if you look, it says here, uh, the mission of the CDC expanded, okay, um, 1947, you know, it talks about the years in the 1940s, okay. I knew it was connected to Emory University in Atlanta, okay? I knew about that. Um, so apparently they've been focusing on malaria and STDs. Uh, let's see. It became the National Communicable Disease Center, effective July 1st, 1967. Now here's what's interesting. I believe history has changed because the organization was renamed the Center for Disease Control on June 24th, 1970. Okay, but then it was changed in 1980, October 14th, 1980. It was changed to Centers for Disease Control. 
what the heck is going on here, guys? That's what I want to know. And then I, I check on uh, CDC.gov. This is their other um, this is their other site. So it talks about in 1970 the CDC was renamed to the Center of Disease Control, right, to reflect responsibilities and non-communicable disease problems. Um, let's see. And it says here during the 1980s the CDC. Um, redoubled efforts to reduce the impact of smoke related diseases, injuries, and other problems while facing the new challenge of the HID, HIV, okay, and the AIDS. So um, it was renamed in 1980, is, you know, that that's just weird to me that, you know, they would change the name like that because I, I kind of remember. Um, I mean, I, I know this for a fact. There was, it was in some movies. I mean, if I could find, I can find that movie. I'll have to go back and listen to it and see if it, they really, because I remember them saying the CDC, the Center for Disease Control. If I could find that movie clip, I'll share it with you guys gladly. But I, I've really got a lot of videos to do. So if you guys want to um, help me with residue, that's perfectly fine. You'll get credit for it. I really appreciate you guys' hard work and uh, researching the Mandela effect. Something something is changing these things, and, and I want to get to the bottom of it. And, uh, you know, I, I will be the first to say that this this is, I mean, it's getting out of hand, okay? Um, especially if you have, like, an OCD where you have to, like, constantly check everything every day. Um, seriously, um, I believe these companies will, will advertise to us. So um, you probably don't even have to worry about that. You, all you have to do is watch a few commercials. You know, everything's changed. Um, but yeah, thanks guys for checking me out. Have a great Mandela Effect night. God bless you all.